Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Somebody sent me this video, which is obviously became very popular and it's made most likely by uh, a Muslim who try to present themselves as modern Muslims. You see, she don't is uh, she is not covering her hair and she don't look like a Muslim at all. And now what is jihad? What is jihad? Like you guys have a very wrong understanding of jihad. I'm not going to play the whole video because they might complain about copyright. But I will play a little part of it, which is allowed. And let us see what this female Muslim are trying to tell us about jihad. Jihad to describe a holy war. Does it even mean holy war at all? Well, the short answer is no. What jihad really means is struggle. It's a major religious duty that many consider to be the unofficial sixth pillar of Islam, right below self-control, giving to the poor, and visiting Mecca. Technically, jihad means a struggle in the way of Allah. <laughs> Fringe radical militant groups think that attacking the West is part of that struggle, but the majority of Muslims don't. Most of them are actually opposed to using the word jihad in that way because it associates the word with terrorism. So what does jihad mean to them? Well, in Islam, there are two types of jihad, the outer and the inner. The outer is the kind that defends Islam against outside aggression. Thank you very much. Thank you. And look how big the outer, this is her own graphic, not our own, is to defend Islam. So what the point of this video is to fool you. They don't want to say to you that jihad does not mean holy war, but you just say it defend against non-Muslims. This is jihad, and this is the biggest, look at the color. This is the, your own graphic, the blue one, and you are the one who put the sword there, right? It's not me. So the whole video is meant to say to you, jihad is not really a bad word. Muslim, they struggle. Yes, well, you know, let, let, me let me show you how stupid what they say to you. When you go in war, aren't you going to struggle? It's a war. It's not fun. You get injured. You lose your limp. You lose your head. You lose your hand. You you know you lose your brother. You lose your father. It's a war. So nowhere and nobody believe that jihad is not a struggle. I mean, war is not a struggle. So what the point of this? And where we get this from? Like they say to you in the video, the word. Uh, uh, the holy war in Arabic means Harb Muqaddasa. You know, every, every, I can give you 1000 meaning for the holy war in Arabic. And she said in the video, is jihad is the same as a crusade? Let me tell you about the crusade, you lady. Crusade is a react of the act. Muslims are the one who did jihad on us and then we react in the crusade. So even the crusade was you attacking us first. Like nobody want to ask himself a very simple question. When the crusade happened, who attack who? The stupid ones don't want to see the truth. The crusade, they did not attack the Muslims. It is the Muslims who attack the Christians. And then the crusade, after they occupy our Jerusalem, and they destroy our churches, and they force jizya on us, and they took our money and our, our, our women, and they raped even our nuns in our churches, then we went for crusade. And if not the crusade, Europe until now will be a slave of Allah. So now let us expose those liars and their propaganda. Somebody here, he asked this Abdul here in this video. What is uh, jihad? He said, brother, jihad in Arabic uh, mean, uh, sorry, holy war in Arabic mean harb muqaddasa. It's not jihad, brother. It's not jihad. <laughs> Let us expose the lies. And they say to you, fasting is jihad. Fasting is jihad. Praying is jihad. Uh, giving charity is jihad. This is what you hear from them. All right? If you play the video here, or this guy, you hear him, he will, you will see he's saying that. Fasting is jihad. Praying is jihad. All of those are jihad. All right? Now, let us expose the lies. I don't want to make the video long. This is Sahih Hadith. This is what? Sahih Hadith. Let me see if I can make it smaller so you can see the word Sahih. By the way, those words Sahih is not exist in the book. This is fabrication for everything inside those books is Sahih anyway. Everything. You see the word Sahih there? This is not part of the book. This is additional. It is the fabrication of Muslims. However, it is Sahih. 
So let us see now what this hadith says according to Muhammad himself. Maybe Muhammad don't understand the concept of jihad. And maybe this Balbula, Abdullah, she know better than Muhammad. Obviously, Muhammad is an idiot. And Muslims, they are going to teach their prophet what jihad is. Look with me. The Messenger of Allah said, Whoever spend a pair of things in the path of Allah, all right, will be called in paradise. Whoever uh, or, or worshipper of Allah, this is good, and whoever among the people of Salat, he would be called to gate of Salat. So Salat, so what Muhammad is saying now, he's counting things in Islam. All right? Worshipping Allah, Salat, which means prayer, all right? Whoever among you who do jihad, so jihad cannot be Salat, jihad cannot be worship, and then he continue, and he will be called to the gate of jihad. And whoever among you, people of a charity, will be called from the gate of a charity. So jihad cannot be charity, and jihad cannot be prayer, and jihad cannot be worship. All right? And whoever of you was of the people of fasting, then he will be called to the gate of fasting. All right? A rayan, he called it a rayan. So jihad cannot be any of those they count for us because if jihad is the same as those how come muhammad is separating it by its own item is it clear if jihad is a salat if jihad is a is a is a which is a prayer if jihad is a fasting if jihad is a charity if jihad all of those so how muhammad counting jihad as an item by itself so obviously jihad is not a prayer and jihad is not worshipping and jihad is not a charity and jihad is not fasting so everything they said to us is a lie for jihad is an item by itself now what jihad mean the gate of jihad if you go right now hmm, right now if you go to uh, to google and you type the word Mujahideen in Arabic. All right. I'm going to go down. I will type it in the front of you. I will switch to Arabic. I will type the word Al Mujahideen, which means the Mujahideen. Here we go. It's coming by itself. And we click at the images. How come we don't see one picture of someone is fasting? Even those they are praying, they are praying in the field of war. They are wearing their, you see this video here, the picture? They are praying in a mosque which half destroyed. And they are wearing their arms and they are soldiers. So how come when we say jihad or mujahideen, we don't see people they are praying? How come when we search for the mujahideen, if the mujahideen is the one who fasts? If the Mujahideen is the one who do prayer, if the Mujahideen is the one who they uh, struggle against themselves, how come we see only fighters? And this is in Arabic. This is not the English propaganda. The one who wrote the word Mujahideen and posed those pictures are Arab. It is not the American. They are responsible for the word Mujahideen. How come we call the fighters who they are fighting from Al-Qaeda Mujahideen, ISIS Mujahideen, uh, Hezbo Tahrir Mujahideen, Muslim Brotherhood when they go to war Mujahideen. A person sitting in war, we don't call him Mujahid. And this is why the Prophet of the Abdul himself, he count Jihad as something different, totally different from prayer, from uh, fasting, from anything. It has nothing to do with all of those stuff as we showed you. Now, if we go and search in the the uh, 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 the very famous statement of Muhammad to understand what Muhammad is about, if you search in English, actually, just to show you how to find this, just type "I've been ordered to fight."
You see how Muhammad, how many times he speak about fighting for the sake of Allah. This is jihad. And how, and we will fight who? You see, the word jihad in this hadith is not mentioned. Jihad is not about a word you mention, it's about what it's meant. I do not need the word jihad here to know that this is a chapter or this hadith is about jihad. I've been ordered to fight all mankind. All mankind. The people. Huh? What people? All people. Aren't you a people? Are, are we people? Yes. Is American people? Yes. Is Nigerian people? Yes. Is Chinese people? Yes. Every people. Until they say, La ilaha illallah. So, what is required for Muhammad to stop killing you? Look, he is the one who is using the word fight, not kiss. Fight coming from the word qatala, which means coming from the word qatala, which means kill. Not fight by hands or by the base. No, not by words. Qatala is coming from the word qatala. Qatala means kill. Fight to kill, which means fight to death. Fight the people until they convert to Islam. Not only they convert to Islam, they have, after they say the Shahada and convert to Islam, huh? and if they say it, say what? The Shahada, which means they convert. Their blood and their wealth will be safe. So Muhammad is nothing but a gang man. He's a thief. Either you convert or he will take your money and he will rape your women and he will kill you. As simple as that. And yet they will say to us, Jihad does not mean a holy war. So what is this one? Is it this is a holy war? What is the purpose of this war of Muhammad? Is to say, La ilaha illallah. Do you see it? Until, he will fight you until when? Until you surrender to Islam. Surrender, not submit. As many people, they teach you that Islam means submit. This is very stupid to say so, by the way. Islam does not mean submit. It means surrender. Surrender to the devil, to Allah. So, you surrender, and you say, La ilaha illallah, which means there is no God but Allah. Hmm? And then, look what Muhammad is saying. Then, their blood, who? Their blood, who? The people, doesn't matter. The Chinese, the, the Russian, the American, doesn't matter. The people, their blood will be safe. And their wealth will be safe. Which means he is threatening you. He is not only is going to take your blood he is not only going to chop your head he is going even to steal your wealth and yet they want to say to us that jihad is not a holy war so if this is not holy war so what 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 is holy war and then abu Bakr he said i will fight whoever separates prayer and zakat so even if you are a muslim and you don't pray or don't pay zakat we will kill you this is jihad. There's jihad against the Muslims too, because a Muslim, if he do not pray, and jihad is a must against him, for he is obviously not a Muslim no more. Because the pillars of Islam say clearly, you have to do those things. If you don't do any of those pillars, you are out of Islam. So, if you don't pay zakat, we will kill you too. I will fight. I will fight what fight? Fight to kill. Again, remember the word I've been ordered to kill. Not to fight by boxing. The word uqatil is a verb coming from, it means to fight, to kill. Coming from the word qatala, which means murder. I've been ordered to murder, to kill. So even Abu Bakr is saying, and this is why we have a big war. It's called the war of apostate. What, what, what is the war of apostate? Those people, they send messages to Abu Bakr saying, we will not pay zakat. And you know, money is very important in Islam. The whole idea, actually, Muhammad, he don't care, by the way, if you convert to Islam or not, as much you pay him money. This is why he allowed, if you read the chapter 9, verse 29, he says, I've been ordered to fight all mankind, right? I, 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 I fight the people of the book until they either they convert or they pay the jizya so if you pay money muhammad will not kill you he wants your money first so if this is not a holy war so what is holy war and fighting non-believer 
can be the same as fighting of somebody he claimed to be a believer because obviously if you don't do practice any of what Muhammad forbid you from for, from being forbidden as an example if you if you uh, if you even do anything anything is against Islam they will kill you as simple as that if we go and search for more more hadith about this we will find tons of them even Muhammad he said that the best of you let me switch to Arabic the best of the Muslims now by the way the Muslim they will say to you this is a hadith it's not the Prophet is saying that when all the Prophet everything we have here is from the Prophet otherwise where Muslims will get this from the best the Quran says the, the, the Quran is a, is a book of racism Consider the Muslims are the best nation, not in the mean of only uh, uh, like in, like they will say to you, we are people who follow God. No, no, no. They are the best to the point they are gods upon you. And this is the proof. Muslims, it is lawful for you to bring you in slavery. You are the best people ever raised up to the benefit of mankind. This is Quran chapter 3 verse number 110 the best for mankind of those who bring them with a chain around their necks you see it do you see it and this is from the book of Bukhari the hadith is coming from Bukhari which means we can show it in Bukhari too so the one we bring them why the Muslims are the best of people because they do jihad otherwise how you can bring me and the chain in my neck by giving me a hug or by giving me a kiss so the best of the Muslims is the one who go for jihad and put chain around your neck and bring you as a slave and humiliate you this is if you stay alive until either you convert to Islam or you know what you stay a slave for the rest of your life or they will kill you it's up to them they can keep you as a slave for the rest of your life or you convert to Islam and obviously after you became a slave you are desperate to, to be free again so you will convert this was a great method by the way by Muslims because they threat any city we are coming to you either you convert this is why Muhammad he said Nusirtu Burrab Nusirtu what? Burrab here we go let me search for it I was victorious by terror Let us fix it here. All right. Nusur to Burrab. I was victorious by terror. I have been helped by the terror in the heart of the enemy. All right. Here in this hadith, it's more clear actually. Let us read this one. He was victorious by terror from the distance of a month. You see the Muslim here, they, they changed the word terror to frightening what a frightening it is terror okay he says nusur to burrab what rab in arabic mean terror i was victorious by terror so your prophet is a terrorist mujahid and from a distance of a month people are terrified do you see how peaceful muhammad is from a distance of a month people they will hear muhammad is coming with his filthy criminal murderer army so people they surrender and the one who is saying that who it is Muhammad saying that I am imagine when Jesus come to Jerusalem people they welcome him with roses nobody is terrified when Muhammad from a distance of a month from your city you will be terrified and who is the one who is saying that is Muhammad himself yet we got someone here this Balbula uh, 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 Zakir Naik and this Balbula here uh, uh, want to teach us or this guy this girl here she want to teach us what Islam is about and they will post for you a sign says Muslims against extremists are you against your prophet if you're a prophet saying I am a terrorist and I showed you the proofs I can show you tons I can keep going until tomorrow 
This is the Muslim propaganda. Don't make them fool you. Please share this video and share it with your friends. If you like to learn more about the filthy Islam, feel free to read my books. The Deception of Allah, Quran and Science in Depth, and The Secret of uh, 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 the Secret to Prophet Arab in French. Thank you very much and God bless you.